your doc testing testosterone levels without checking luteinizing hormones, like diagnosing car trouble without even popping the hood. Had a 55 year old guy come in recently. His total testosterone was 280s, basically geriatric levels. His doc immediately wanted him to start TRT. But here's the plot twist. Nobody bothered to check his LH. It was 3.2. That's like having your car's internal computer shut off and wondering why the engine won't start. But most guys and way too many doctors think testosterone's all that matters. This is so wrong. LH is literally the text message your brain sends your ball saying, hey, you up? Let's make some testosterone. LH is the signal. So if you have a low T and high LH, it means your brain's sending the signal, but something's wrong with the testes. That's when testosterone might make sense. But if you have low T with low LH, your brain fell asleep at the wheel. This is what's actually happening with 90 plus percent of men. Totally different game plan. So this guy didn't need a lifetime of injections. He just needed to wake up his pituitary. He was a big CrossFit guy, and it turns out like he was training like he was prepping for the Olympics. But he was also living off of five or six hours of sleep and tons of energy drinks all day, every day. So he fixed his sleep, dialed back the volume a little bit, and we added enclomiphene to jumpstart his LH. Six months later, his total testosterone hit 820, and his LH was in a normal range. It was around eight or nine. LH is your diagnostic crystal ball. It tells you if you're dealing with broken hardware or just bad software. Don't let anyone sell you a new engine when you might just need to turn the key.